entertaining the running of the parade. But our defence forces, Colour Party, as always, leading our parade into the centre of the town here. And the display of our national flag, the tricolour, and our thanks to them. Community brass band and the showing of our colour with the Monaghan or with the Defence Forces Colour Party. Chief Executive of Monaghan County Councillors, Councillors, uh, Bishop Ian Ellish, uh, the Reverend Ian Barry and Bishop Larry Duffy, and uh, Superintendent Pat O'Connell, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to thank the staff, volunteers and the committee and the Gardaí for looking after us today and ensuring that we have a very special day. Well, on this special occasion, we're delighted to be holding this parade again this year, and it's wonderful to see so many participants from the community and the commercial sector. It is fantastic to see all the participants from all the businesses for windows displayed, and the winners, and we have chosen best window display incorporating the theme was Dirty Fabulous at last last week. Can we get a round of applause for Dirty Fabulous? Best window display incorporating Gaelic Dinkins Bakery and Cafe. Well done, Dinkins. Yes. There will be prizes awarded to the best marching band, best community float, and the best commercial float, and they'll be presented at the MD meeting. And this year we have introduced the Quiet Zone. Uh, we've reduced noise from the market screen around the right up to the market house. We hope everybody has a great day and enjoy the parade. Very much, Margaret. As is always the case, I believe the brass band will give us a short recycle here in the diamond as well, and I have a few notes for you too, so we'll have a short recycle if that suits, please. <laughs>
David. And just to let you know them on a brass band, they're very active with, uh, with us here at Christmas, and they're probably preparing for the next Christmas, would you believe, as well, creating Christmas cards. They also led the Santa Parade in as well. They're always looking for new players, new members into their band. So whether you're 9 or 99, if you can read music or not, Go along and see any of them today, chat to any of the members afterwards. You can follow them on Facebook or you can pop into a rehearsal of a Wednesday night, 8 to 9, in the band hall on the Broad Road, Monaghan. That's the same car park as St. Joseph's Pastoral Centre beside Dunn Store. So contact numbers are also on the band hall door if you're interested there. And they will run an adult-only class if there's interest in that. So they're currently putting together a programme of music for the summer, so you'll definitely see them out and about in the town. I say no event is complete, particularly on a day like today or over the festive season, without having Monaghan Community Brass Band and our thanks to them for that. Monaghan Community Brass Band, ladies and gentlemen. And again, our thanks to our members of our Defence Forces as well for leading our colours into the diamond there. Going behind all the community brass band, you will see members of our Civil Defence and our thanks to them for being so patient just standing there. And again, they also are always on the lookout for you members and the wonderful service that they do provide as backup. Again, a lot of events cannot run without the help and the aid of the civil defence, particularly when you're gathering people together in large numbers. And our thanks to them and our members. You'll see some of the equipment that they have as well from their rescue three on board there to their ambulance and fire brigade. And as I say, they're always back up to air emergency services, the civil defence have their headquarters also around in the plantation and if you go to any public function or event any large gathering of mass people the civil defence will always be there Monaghan Fire we here as well we moved up the order to the head of the parade this year firing all the lads there Quite talk over the sirens. And our thanks to them, they're probably the guys you never want to see, but it's the comfort of knowing that they're there is the most important thing. We have our vintage, Monaghan Vintage Club, and the gentleman that's leading us in, Leo Sharkey, I've been told this is the last year he's going to lead the parade for the Vintage Club. And what a wonderful display of stuff, Leo. Thanks so much for all that you do there. Annual rally, 2nd of July, the modern Vintage, Vendor and Vintage Club. Some pedal power waking its way through the town there also. Behind Leo we have the Massey Ferguson 35 and the Massey Ferguson 135 there as well. A 35X might I add, which means it's got the differential I believe, that's what makes the difference there. And that's Brian McDonald and his wonderful selection of stuff. A chemist or pens trader, along with a Mr. David Wright, there's a great bit of pull on the that stairway, like you can see. I believe this is one of the first trucks that was in Wright's quarry. Pristine looking than some you'd see of the more modern time. One wonders will there be enough pepper to run them now in years to come as well. The BMW, a 1992 BMW, you can begin to feel your age when 92 is a vintage car. But again, making its way through, that's pretty Niblock, I think it was there with that one. A 316, it is indeed, 3 Series. The Mark 1 Escort, it is indeed, Ford Escort. Big Bernie there, and another beautiful car, making its way through. And so you can see how lovely restored these cars are. KDI 19, with the Mercedes behind that, of Mr. Jim Mohan, 1989, and then we have the Cortina, the Mark II Cortina, 1970, of Sean McQuillan. Again, beautifully restored, all these cars running perfect, and hopefully they'll continue to do so. The Mitsubishi Jeep, the 92 Mitsubishi Jeep, I said this is where you feel your age when you're into the 90s, and they can be termed now as vintage. Also have the Rover, 3200 SD from 1976. That's a rover. 
2200 SC, the Mini, Frank Keenan and his next 73 Mini, ZB 1668. I never have thought of these cars. The BMW from 1980 of T.P. Smith, making its way through the hum of the engine of that one as well. Great big engine, 6 Series, 3 litre. A Bentley, and this belonged to the Sultan of Brunei. He owned it in London, and it was bought and brought over here. That Bentley is from 1990. Behind that we have another Mercedes there of 1986. Another Pajero Mini this time, a Superbo 2000. A Mark II Escort, this is a little different. Is that Enda? I think it is. Is Enda key? This is the 3 litre Mark II Escort. I think it's especially built from the Keenan stable. Quite the note out of that as well, let me tell you. That's a rare looking car. We have the Mercedes there again. That's Gordon Flevin and his Mercedes making his way through. And I believe we have another Mercedes then of Noel Duffy that's coming behind that. We do indeed. And again, you can see the Mercedes never really changed shape, to shape just got a little bit more modern in this time. The Ford Anglia, 1958 of Anthony Leonard there. And again, look at it moving along. There's another Bentley from Pete McKenna there in Ellie Vale. Beautiful Bentley. You can see yourself being driven about, limousined about in that. A Ford 4000 Three Force from 1966. Probably still doing a bit of work somewhere. That Ford tractor. The major on the side of it. And another one behind it as well. 1973, 66 to 73 to 74. So we have a Ford 3000 and a Ford 4000. That's David and then Henry, father and son, in the Fords 3000 and 4000. And then we have a Ford 4610 from 1987. That's another one of the Blackford family. So all the Fords out in numbers today. Now this particular Ford, I think this is the inner one, Paramaster. This was imported from the USA, not sold in Ireland, 1958, 40 horsepower. So, and I know members of their team is going to be playing in St. Chirac's Park, Clonus on Sunday at half time, in the big Monaghan and Tyrone game. We'll have to check something. Who's going to win on Sunday? Oh, they can't hear you. Who's going to win on Sunday? Yeah. Keep an eye out for the other guys there. And girls, on Sunday, half time they'll be there. <coughs> so the will, and thanks to them as always, on our special Olympics. So follow them on social media channels as well. It's fantastic what they're involved in. I say recently they say they were basketball, that they were involved in. Monaghan Arts Club, I know, is another wonderful outlet that they have there as well. Is these are dancers? Is this school bridge? Don't be broke, and it is the world champions, as always, coming into the day at all. Oh, where do we see this?
Coaches are with them there as well. Absolutely brilliant, fantastic stuff, and well done. 